Hi, friends. Do you know who this is? It's Peppa Pig. Say hi to her. And we have the rest of the family here, too. Let's match them with their color of Play-Doh. What color is this, friends? Do you know this word? It's green. So inside will be a ball of dough, and it'll be green. Green like the grass, that's right. And the green color matches our Daddy Pig stamp. Let's check out this color next. The word on the side tells us it's pink. What will we find inside? A pink ball of Play-Doh, of course. Flamingos are pink. Then it's a match for our Peppa Pig stamp. This crayon is red. And this crayon is blue. Hmm, let's check out this one first. Those four letters spell the word blue. Awesome. And when I tip it over, out plops a blue dough ball. This is such a lovely color. It looks like a giant blueberry. We'll put it next to the blue George pig stamp. That means our very last color is red. Do you think there's an elephant inside here? Nope. It's some red dough, and it looks just like a silly clown's nose, doesn't it? It goes next to the red mommy pig stamp. Now, for the really fun part. First, we're going to make our own Peppa Pig with this stamp. Should we use this cookie cutter? No, it won't work. I think we should look for a cutter that's also pink. Here it is. It's the same color. And it's the perfect outline for the shape of our stamp. Here's Mommy Pig. We need to find the cookie cutter that matches her. Do you see it, friends? Look hard. Yes, it's this one right here. Good job, friends. Daddy Pig, you're next. There are only two spots left. One is green, and the other one is blue. If you guessed the green one, then you're right. Hooray! And that leaves the last blue spot for George right over here. It's time for a magic trick. Hocus Pocus, one, two, three. It's Peppa. First, we need to flatten our pink dough. To do that, we can use a rolling pin like this one. We can roll, roll, roll it out. We need it good and flat. Just pretend you're making a batch of cookies. Maybe they'll be bubblegum flavored. I will use the cookie cutter now. This will create the outline of Peppa Pig for us. I did it. We can get rid of the excess dough for now. We don't need that anymore. It actually comes off quite easily. I'll just put it away for later. Next, we have to use our Peppa stamp. It fits into the cutter and slides down onto the dough. Then push down hard. Did it work? Let's find that out. First, we need to remove this piece and then lift up the stamp. It worked. That's a pretty perfect Peppa Pig. Now we can make Peppa's little brother George the same way. It's time to smoosh and smash our blue dough until it's flat. Here comes the cookie cutter. Place it on the dough, then press it down. Remember? And now it's ready for the George stamp. I need to push it down hard for it to make an imprint. I love peeling away all the leftover dough. It comes up so easily, leaving behind only the cutout we made. It's awesome. Ready to see the result? One, two, three. Wow, it worked. Bip bap, big flat. That was cool. The green Play-Doh will help us make Daddy Pig. First, let's do the outline. Then the Daddy Pig stamp comes. We splop. It's a tight fit, but it will work. Let's speed this bit up. Whoa, I'm like a superhero now. This will be done in no time. I'm nervous, friends. Do you think it worked? Let's see. Oh, it did work. It's a delightful daddy pig. Our set is almost complete. There's just one pig left. But which one is it? We'll have to wait and see, I guess. So the red dough is ready to be cut out. Is that Peppa Pig's outline? I don't think so. Well, whoever it is, they're wearing a dress. I'll push down the stamp, and then we can take a closer look. Bye-bye, red dough. We don't need you anymore. Ready, set, reveal. It's Mommy Pig, of course, and she's ready to join the rest of her fantastic family. What a colorful bunch, oink oink. I wanna play with even more colors, and you can play with me, friends. It will be fun. Count with me, one, two, three. Whoa, they're little balls of foam, and each one is a different bright color. Awesome. 
Let's take a closer look. They're made from slime and teeny tiny itsy bitsy little styrofoam balls. This is called floam. It feels so funny when I roll it out and it makes a silly crinkly sound too. I wonder what I can make with this. Mm. If I bend it here, it looks like a giraffe's head with its long skinny neck. Nah, I know what to make. I'll pinch in here and smooth out a few of these bumps. What is it? This is the number one. Wonderful. Ah, we can use the purple color next to make the number two. Right now it looks like a long slimy purple worm. But I'll curve the top and add a few straight lines. And just like that, we get the number two. Our next number will be bright yellow. To make a three, you just put two curves on top of each other. See, it's a three. This pretty pink floam should be next, right? We only need half for the first part of this. I'll smoosh it and crush it and roll it all around. I want it to be a long, thin, straight line. That's precisely what we need. Perfect. Now for the tricky bit, I can start by rolling out another long, straight line. Roll, roll, roll. But I have to bend this one in the middle. So now when I push it against the straight line, it makes the perfect four. I almost have it. It's the number four. Which color should I pick next? Blue. I think it's time for some magic. Ding dong dive. Let's see a five. It worked. And this is what a five looks like. For the six, we'll start by making a big orange snake. We can twist it into a circle at one end with a long tail at the top. And this is the shape we need. Great. This is what the number six looks like. What comes after six that we can make with the green floam? No, it's not eight. Is it nine? No, that's not right. Oh, I think I know. It rhymes with heaven. It's one long line and one short one. It's seven. Hello, yellow. I need to split this one in half. Squish it, squash it, smoosh it, squeeze it. This is fun. I'll start by making a lemon donut with this half. And I'll make another one with the other half. They look like pretty flowers. But when I put one on top of the other, I get the number, eight. I'll just fix a few spots along the edges. That's one great eight. The next number rhymes with line and wine. It looks a little like an upside down six. The circle goes up on the top just like this. And there's a long curved line underneath. Hello, nine. Did you think we were done, friends? No, we have one number left and we'll need two pieces of floam to make it. We can put one to the side and work on the first part. That was so easy. But does it look familiar? Yep, it's the first number we've made today. It's a number one. Wait, there's another part to this number. It's like a giant purple hula hoop, so we must bring the two ends together. That looks pretty good. Look, friends, we just made a 10. It's fun making numbers with you. Here they are together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I have an idea. Let's do the numbers after 10. I'll start with this red Play-Doh and split it into two balls. Raleigh, Raleigh, don't go slowly. This looks perfect. This number needs two ones standing side by side. This is 11. It rhymes with seven, right? For the next number, I need more dough. Blam, now I have enough. Abracadabra, make me a wonderful one. Fabulous. Yes. The second number is a two. Remember, it has a curvy top and two straight lines. It looks a bit like a snake. When you put a two after a one, it makes the number 12. Here comes the green. Beep, boop, bean. We just made number 13. Woohoo! Rolling the red will help us this time. We'll start with the one and then work on the four. What does that make, friends? It's 14. Is that a purple worm? No, it's a number. And this number is one. And its partner will be the number after four. It's a five. And a one and five is 15. This is an interesting looking green. It's so bright it almost looks like it's glowing. Maybe it came from outer space. That would be cool. We're starting with one again. 
And this time, we'll make a six next to it. A one and a six put side by side makes 16. Watch closely, friends. Here's a blue ball. Splat. And now it's the number 17. Oh no, the pink dough is trying to get away. That was close, but now I can make our next number. It also needs a one as the first number. Then we make an eight with two circles. It's now 18. One, two, three, presto chango. It's 19. Look, friends, we're only missing one number. And this one rhymes with plenty and starts with a two. Are you ready? It's 20, made with a two and a zero. We did it, friends. Look at all the things we made today. All we needed was some fun dough and imagination. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons so we can play together again. Bye-bye.